Looking at this, ladies and gentlemen, on the blue side for Team Ice. Trying to bring the Kissing effect to the Howling Abyss, it's Raymond Kissing Singh! And on the red side from Team Fire, top lane kill leader in the 2015 LMS Summer Split, it's Ziv! All right, gentlemen, lock and load, because we're ready to go! I think it's absolutely appropriate that Kasing's on Team Ice this time. That guy is always cool as a cucumber. <laughs> he is these days. Didn't used to be. Uh, <laughs> that's one oh, yeah, thing you know, else. You know I know Raymond pretty Christ. well. I also know he's not exactly the greatest at 1v1s. Uh, uh, never used to be. Never used we'll to be. We'll have to find out because, you know, Ziv's coming off a bit of a rough match there in that last one. And maybe this is his chance to like a little bit, let a little bit of that out. But maybe he's kind of still feeling the stings. So maybe. We'll have to see. Maybe. I just always, long ago, back in the day, like 2013, I always used to watch uh, Kasing go one versus one against uh, Cook, the old uh, Team Dignitas mid laner when they had a UK team. And Raymond would never really come out on top. I kind of always watch him lose. So hopefully he's picked up his 1v1 game. It's been a few years. So uh, I, I, the one thing is, Ray, uh, Kissing is always smiling, always happy. I just wonder whether he's watched enough of these to pick up these uh, 80 carries. But we'll see. We'll see. Hey, he's, he's definitely played with some of, the some of the best out there. And, you know, I feel like... Well, not recently. Well, uh, well okay. No. But <laughs> last year. Last year. Last no, year. that's not fair. I, I mean, ob yeah, obviously I, we saw him. Go over I am. He's a fantastic individual player, but you're right. A big, a big chunk of what he does so well is on a team, and in a one v one scenario, we'll have to see if he's got the raw power to just pull out the one against Siv here. But now he's, yeah, he's got to go up against Siv, uh, somebody who is used to one v ones, and uh, typically played, you know, a, a good few bruises. He did, had some pretty good games at Worlds when Might you look at different it. Different picks is what you're telling me. Oh, well, uh, no, I don't think we're going to see any different picks. I think we're going to see the same picks. But uh, you know, Ziv was pretty good when he could get oh, uh, you tell me, yes. get far ahead on picks like Nah. I don't really think we're going to see it too much. It's uh, no. well, it's always a possibility, but I, it's I think we're going to probably stick with the same tried and true stuff for everybody. But we have seen a couple of things slipping through. We have yes. seen some crazy ADC duels, and I expect more of that to continue. However, the real tough thing, speaking of ADCs, is whoever wins this one's got to go up against Uzi. Yes, yeah. Uh, Yuzi got that buy into the second round, just like uh, Kasa did up in the top hand, or the top side of the bracket. So this one, uh, Not gonna I, at least you've got a guaranteed opponent. You know, you That's can start true. preparing for but that But the thing is, you let that get in your head right away. I mean, it, the 1v1 bracket, there's really not as much time to think about. I feel yeah. like people just got to I mean, just gotta go for it, it as best you can, use your instincts. In this one, you get like a whole five minutes more to think about tomorrow's matchup. So, you know, you can really utilize that time even better, Pyra. Just five minutes of extra prep. It's the difference between banning Caitlyn and leaving it open. <laughs> that's that's just the difference. That's no, about no. all I've uh, got. On we're we're going to find out if that's the case as we're hearing a Vixen bands. And, you know, Kasing on the left side, on the blue side. But he's in red, even though it's Team Ice. I'm so ready. Maybe we'll see Kasing finally pick Zillion. He's been hovering it. Okay, see, this is what I mean about Kasing not being great <laughs> at 1v1s. First ban of Vixen. Vix is not a good 1v1? No, I'm not saying he's not a good 1v1. It's I'm just, just saying contested. he's not the same level as every other champion we've seen. There's the Caitlyn band. Yeah, so Ziv has been sense. watching. Um, He's paying attention. So. Uh, uh, well, it, so Irelia, the problem the with Aurelia in 1v1s is she loses super hard to like 80 carries. I mean, if she ever gets on top of you with like Mark, the snowball, can can do pretty well. Or if you're stupid enough to sit next to your creep when it dies. Yeah, I mean, we, team, we got the team band away now, Twisted Fade. There's a lot being left up. Unless Solution gets banned here, and it's not, could be picked up very quickly, but Kasing is actually taking his time, so is Ziv. On the lock -in. Uh So Lucian is up. Ziv, don't go Soraka. You can't heal yourself, other than with your Qs. Uh, at this point, Lucian's oh, available. Is Quinn is up. Urgot is up. Uh, what else we see? Lulu's available. Uh, Lulu is up. We saw a lot of Lulu bands. Yeah, um, I mean, we really could have the chance to see some stuff we haven't seen just yet, but Kasing might be going for the Lucian, and it was like. a very, very hard fought battle last time we saw one of those out there. But with the Quinn? I think Ziv might be going for this one. It looks like it. No, no, well, he's still got about 10 seconds left on the timer. I got baited by the fact that the timer isn't over on the right-hand side. But will we see the change here? Two. Has been one. locked in on there Lucian. So, so first Ziv's time. Ziv's going to win a win. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I haven't heard that in a very long time. Now, you haven't been playing enough solo queue. No, I actually, that's. 
haven't been in Europe long enough to play solo queue. Because like, true. why would I want to play solo queue Pretty over here? Pretty much just bounce straight over here. Oh, wow. Well, you know, that's what that's what the sink thought too. Yeah, that is. That's why he went home. That's yeah. why he's. Uh, that's a real reason. Sticking with the EU LCS, he was like, eh, "This North America thing's not." Well, we gotta keep a few players, guys. Come on. We do. We do. We gotta, you know. Keep, a keep well, sorry. You know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna open that one. Actually, that still kind of stings. But uh, so based on what we have here with, the, with Lucian versus Quinn, uh, mm -hmm. this matchup. Talk me through it a little bit. So this is 523 Quinn, uh, which has the kind of almost blind, where it's very similar to like Grave Smoke Screen, where within the area you Produces have vision, vision, but outside of it you don't. So very, uh, very. Different mechanic here, considering old Quinn just used to straight up blind you, then took it away, and then now they've kind of put it back on. So uh, it is a champion we've seen a lot, as you said, in solo queue. A lot of it in North America, a lot of it in Europe as well. So interested to see how it works out in the one versus one. Yeah, I am a bit curious about that one. Uh, up against Lucian too, because Lucian's a little bit more of a straightforward champion. Because seeing onto this one, he does of course have the barrier and the exhaust. He's going very defensive here. Ziv has traded the barrier out for Ignite. Let's see if that works out for him. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering. Kasing actually is not quite good. Yeah, Kasing can get the ward here if he pushes up. Ziv is not going to contest it. But uh, at this point, uh, you know, Kasing isn't going to drop the ward either. So just a waiting game here at the beginning. No uh, biscuits for Ziv, though. Not going for the uh, extra sustain that we've seen. You heard the analyst. Let's talk about it earlier after our first set of one versus ones. Going for that uh, 6 6 18. Get feast, get the uh, extra biscuits, and then get Grasp of the Undying. Yeah, but it's a slight advantage, but I feel like, well, they probably go, both go for Grasp of the Undying here. It makes perfect sense since they're just going to be trading a lot of auto attacks back and forth. But Kasing, hanging out this brush, doesn't manage to land the piercing light on early to Ziv, so it's just going to be a bit of a farm fest for the moment. Uh, Ziv does have Grasp the Undying, as does Kasing. You are correct. Again, that is Did the it. blue indicator that is around the hands. So that is how you denote that it is active on both champions. Again, four seconds in combat. That can be built up by attacking minions. So up Kasing. until that moment, that was really like a gentleman's agreement. They hadn't really traded that much autos back and forth. Um, and Ziv was only, only able just to get that one shot out. But Kasing's healed most of the back up already. Yeah, and Kasing does have the push on as well. So he is going to hit level 2 early. Will he be able to pressure it out? It's, uh, I would expect he would. So much of bot lane is getting level 2 and then using it. Oh, there's he goes. Dash forward. Gets a double tap. Ziv does trade back with the Grasp of the End Diagonal. So it's a fairly even trade. So you far. get the sense that they're just kind of feeling it out for a moment. Obviously, these aren't champions that they're both going to be extremely used to in, in their normal level of play. Well, I say that, but then there's a the top. Say, they're probably used to playing <laughs> against Oh, there's them. the vault, though. There we go. Kasing's going to get ignited, though, as he relentlessly retreats. Ziv takes a big win on that trade. <laughs> but Kasing wins uh, in style points. He does, but he's now just been pushed off and only has, like, 300 health to Ziv's 6, 700. So at this point, Ziv pretty much has this game in full control. Level 3 means Ziv has his exhaust available. Could go all in, but Double Summon is still up for Kasing. He's taking a few shots off the minions, though, so it wasn't a total loss for Kasing, but he's going to be not quite zoned off. He gets the heal, but he gets vaulted, dodges the blind, and he's able to trade back another shot. Hard play is going. Doesn't get the double tap. He dashes forward. Now he gets the double tap. One more shot, and that will mean Ziv goes back for the health. Still Kasing on the lower end of it. Oh, and he tanked so many minions there as he went past the minion wave. Ziv actually coming out way ahead on that little exchange. Still the summoner down, though. That is the one thing you've got to keep in, keep a track of. Because uh, the summoner advantage pretty much is the difference between a one all-in in the early game. But Ziv right now does have about a 200 uh, health lead. Is up by a wave and a minion. So that's Kasing funny, though. is up against it. He's stubbornly not gone back in this one. It's a bit early for him, too. But... When you take so much damage early, what can you do? He will manage to level up. He's still getting a bit of sustain off the grasp of the Undying. Piercing Light dodged out from Ziv. But there's a big wave of minions heading towards that tower. And the blind dodged again. So Kasing yeah. is getting a feel for the champion. But it's costing him mana every single time. Look at Kasing's mana pool. Is, uh, a lot lower than Ziv. Dropping pretty low. You can actually see that both of these players are uh, perhaps not the most experienced uh -oh. Uh -oh. in facing off each other because uh, you can see Kasing is taking a lot of damage just from Ziv's trades and Ziv isn't exactly dodging the uh, piercing light all that often so it's it's a little bit of a sloppy start to this matchup a lot of damage traded back and forth and Kasing is the first to recall I mean this is just such a big advantage for Ziv though despite the fact that he's made some of those mistakes as well he's got a pretty solid lead these minions are going to tank the tower and they should pretty much go down by the time Kasing is able to arrive at least two of them and that's going to be a third. He's going to get a grand total of one CS off of that. He got it, Pyro. He got the one. 
<laughs> it's worth. Oh, and he missed that one. Oh <laughs> so no, no, he no, doesn't okay. make up for it. Okay, well, I mean, yeah. double. This is why supports though. have relic shield. Okay, like that's. <laughs> That's why that item exists. Support's yeah. not the best at last inning, but I mean he he's normally support, he could have built that. Oh, blinded. Oh, there's the vault. Zip trying to bait him under tower. Not quite enough. And he does actually trade very effectively as a blind. Uh just within range he was still able to make a shot. Yeah, just able to. Of course that vault will mark Kissing, so he's able to just throw out that empowered auto attack after, but Kissing's trading pretty effectively well. Uh, and honestly the at this point the uh Extra damage that Ziv has does have a pickaxe at this point. Not an item that you really see all that often. The build path's out of pickaxe. Uh, this now limits Ziv on, on where he can kind of go from here. It, it tends to be big uh, ticket items to come out of pickaxe rather than long swords. Ziv's going for the gold here, but it's Kasing that goes and dashes it. Double exhaust is down. There's the vault up, forcing the barrier. Ziv is low, and that's it! Kasing finishes it off in five minutes! All on the side steps from Kasing. Just touches the damage. <laughs> he can't believe he even won. Look at that look on Kasing's face. He's so happy to win this. He's like, wow, I won? Yeah. Hits keep on coming for Ziv, though, but he's all smiles as he shakes Kasing's hand. And that was an abrupt end to what looked like it definitely could have gone a little while of a game. Yeah, that one could have gone the, the distance there, I feel like. But, uh, you know, that's uh, that's a good win. It's another win for Europe. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Well, and, you know, the best part for Kasing is he actually made that game last a little bit longer than his time in NA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. Well, hopefully it was uh, more successful than his time in NA. I mean, he, he got only, a win. He only managed to win one series in NA, so he's yeah. tied it up. He's well, tied it up. Raymond. The, the problem is he's going to have to go up against Uzi in the next round. Yeah. But, you know, he's got a little bit of time. He can take a little bit of a break. Uh, and we'll see how it happens tomorrow. But that's